everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I am reviewing the Pardon and Phil's Bougelet Village. It's a 2016 from France using the Gamay Grape, and it is 13% alcohol by volume. And I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but I'll put it right here. I have to go back and look at the receipt. It was under 15 bucks. So let's get started. Pouring a sample. And I'm actually going to do this two ways. So I'm going to pour a straight sample, cap it real fast, but I'm going to be capping it with. This thing called a Haley's Corker. I just got these in. They're supposed to be like a 5-in-1 multi-tool, so I'm gonna actually do sort of a little hybrid review because I'm gonna mix it in with this video right here. So I'm just gonna set that aside and focus on the wine at the moment. Uh, for this, uh, the Gamay is really a, an interesting grape for me. Um, it has a lot of potent strawberry elements that I tend to get on it. So I'm into, or at least all the gamays that I've had probably in the last 10 years have been like that. So I'd be interested to see if this one kind of lives up to it. From a color standpoint, uh, it's, I don't know, it's, been, it's a dark red. It, it has a hint of purple, but it's just mostly a dark ruby. Um, there is some transparency, not much. Uh, no art, artifacts and cloudiness though, so that's nice. From a nose standpoint, I feel like I'm not going to be disappointed. I already smell the strawberry-like uh, notes that come through on this. It smells slightly sweet. It actually smells like it has like a little bit of an earthy note to it. Like in the, the hint, there's like a little soil like in the back of my nasal cavity. Or there could just be soil in my nasal cavity. But let's go for a taste. Oh, that's nice. That's that's a Beaujolais. So, um, and this one is actually very interesting because I am getting that strawberry note, but I'm also getting a little bit of like a, a, a dark red cherry, uh, like a ripe red cherry, and uh, it's kind of being brought into it. That's quite nice. Actually, my also have like a little hint of a raspberry note to it. Might be a kiss of raspberry in there. But I'm definitely getting that cherry and I'm definitely getting the strawberry. Um, it has probably about a short to medium finish and um, not too acidic, probably about medium on the acid. And it's actually a quite nice drinking wine. So, uh, now that's without the corker. So with the corker, the thing I like about this, and I'll put the review to the Halo's corker right here, is uh, that it's a multi-tool. And one of the things it does is aerate. So I'm wondering, if I'm going to get a difference in the sample through this aeration process. So I'm going to set this aside, go through for the nose. Okay, so to open it up a little bit, I am getting a little bit of the cherry on the nose. The earthiness actually tended to move off, and now I'm just kind of smelling like bright fruit. Yeah, so from a taste, Wow, so the, 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 the adding the, the Haley's Corker actually made a difference. So this is very, this is very dense in the fruit element and it doesn't really, it doesn't actually like soften the wine at all. And this softens it a little bit, but the thing I'm getting more out of this is I'm getting more of the earthy notes that are being projected into it. That's not that bad. So, um, from a non aerated standpoint, um, Pardon and Phil's uh, Beaujolais Village, um, I'm going to give you a good. No, I'm sorry, a very good. I like you. Uh, and when you're aerated, I'm still going to get you a very good. Um, you have a different quality, and neither of them are actually that bad. So, uh, this is definitely a wine that I, I enjoy. Great job. Anyway, this is Mr. Work with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the part in Phil's uh, Boucherlet Village? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. And it's not too late to go watch that Wine Corkers video, and you can see it in the outro. And there it is in the outro. So, uh, yes, if you want to see the Healy's Corker video, it's right there. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow. It helps you get more information on when videos are happening. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications, and I will see y'all later.